prohibits the use of, of mileage base rates and it prohibits the use of meters. And the only reason that those are in there is because uh, they want to protect medallion cab service from competition. And it doesn't serve a public <coughs> safety reason. There, there's no reason for, other than the protection of competition, which is not a legitimate uh, function of this, of this uh, board or this agency. Uh, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't help the public. In fact, it hurts the public because the public um, executives uh, uh, service developed because there was a public need out there. The people in the Northeast weren't getting adequate service. Uh, the, Mr. Burkhardt and Mr. McQuillan uh, uh, met the needs and, and have been very successful in doing that. Your, your final form regulations punish that success and punish their, and their success is based solely on the fact that they've served a public need. Is there going to be one dissenting voice from this board, one, one person who has independently examined these, these regulations and determined? It, it, it's clear that what the legislature did here is they, they repealed the Medallion Act and they gave you the, the authority under the Medallion Act and they added to that limousines. But yet you're, you're, you're regulating entities that, that uh, the Public Utility Commission never uh, regulated. Brokers, insurance agents, uh, partial rights cabs. Uh, the, you, we were never subject to Chapter 24. Partial rights cabs were never subject to Chapter 24. Chapter 24 was repealed, and you were given the same powers that that the, that, uh, the PUC had under Chapter 24. Sure. And yet, and yet now you you, you uh, you're regulating uh, partial rights cabs. Uh, I, I think you have to take a, a good look. I would recommend that uh, the the sections related to partial rights cabs, the sections related to brokers, the sections related to entities that were not regulated uh, by the PUC under Chapter 24 be severed from these regulations and you just proceed on the basis of the uh, the medallion regulations and, and the other ones. The, the, and I'll, I'll briefly sum up. There is a proceeding currently pending before the board, before the authority. Uh, the hearing officer has it, in which we've challenged the, regula the, the jurisdiction and the power of the authority to regulate partial rights cabs. Uh, that's, that had, there, there's been no decision and, the, and we're going to brief the issue. We've had a, an, an evidentiary hearing. The authority is going to have, had ch have a chance to review that decision. Why issue regulations uh, when you're not sure or when the issue hasn't been decided by the board as to whether there is jurisdiction and power? What's the hurry? Let's wait. Uh, let's wait to see what the outcome of that proceeding is and then and then act accordingly. But uh, time. The right. Just in closing, the regulations that are that are if these pass, if these go through, they will be challenged in court, and you're going to be mired in litigation on this for years. And if you think that it was bad before, it's going to get a lot worse because we just challenged the procedures. Thank you. Now we're going to challenge the substance. Thank you. <laughs> we have a, a rep that signed in from the PTA. It looks like I'm, I can't understand the signature. Is that me, David? That was that. Uh, <laughs> 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 you again, Mr. How many times did you sign in? I never did. Okay. That's that's the end of public comment according to everybody that signed in. All right, thank you. Uh, at this point, we're going to turn it over to uh, uh, board member Twelvenberg. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I've considered the final rule making order. Annex A before us today, as well as a statement from Executive Director Fenerty and the public comments. I understand the rationale of the authority staff, and I agree that it is vital and important to the health and welfare of our city to maintain a consistent and predictable set of taxi cab and limousine regulations. I also believe that the men and women who work in those industries deserve the same stability and certainty as to rules for operation. As chairman of the taxi, and limousine committee of the board, no one is more interested in seeing the introduction of newer taxi cabs and creating wheelchair accessibility in both taxi cabs and limousines in our city. We will also need to consider several of the issues addressed in public comment here today. However, I understand the need to move judiciously and believe that we can more appropriately address these issues through future rulemaking with advance notice to the public and through public comment. Therefore, I move to the final rulemaking order and be adopted and entered by the board today. There's a uh, motion. Do I hear a second? Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Mm -hmm. Motion carried. Thank you. Uh, motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried.
Uh, meetings adjourned. Thank you for your time and uh, coming out here. <laughs>